Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Spigen Tough Armor case for the Google Pixel 7a. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Starting off with the price, this case does go for $18.99 on Amazon. And as always, I will have everything linked in the description. Taking a look at the packaging, we can see that it's very simple. Made for Google Pixel, Spigen logo up top, and a nice little image of what the case looks like plus the color down here because there are two colors for this case. There's black and I believe there is this navy color, but I usually do go for black cases. So let's go ahead and open this up. Inside, we are treated with a plastic pouch where the case resides. And if we do take the case out, here is our first look at the Spigen Tough Armor case. So I've said this in many videos, but if you are a first time viewer, the Spigen Tough Army case is probably one of my favorite cases. However, unfortunately, since phones are getting super big now, especially like the Pixel 7 Pro S23 Ultra, I've actually not been using this uh, case too much with my phones. But with the 7a, since we do have the smaller footprint on this phone, I actually might consider using this case for this phone, depending on how the fit and feel is with a phone of this size. So this is similar to my s 10 which was around when I first started using the Tough Armor case and I just had a great time with it. So I believe I will have a great time with this phone and this case as well. So taking a look at the inside before we put the case on, we do have this yellow styrofoam feeling uh, material. So this is to actually absorb the shock a little better. It says tough armor on the inside and then on the edges we actually do get a lining of that material as well. So it can actually absorb the shock a little better. Plus on the edges we do have the speaking air technology as they call it basically you do have little open areas where air pockets are stored inside of when you do place the case on your phone. And so if you do manage to drop it on its edges, then your phone, the, well, the air pockets should be absorbing the shock before your phone does. So let's go ahead and place the phone inside, which is super easy. All we got to do is start from the bottom left or bottom right, and then just place the phone inside and voila. Here is our Pixel 7a on the Spigen Tough Armor case. And right away I can tell you this is still feeling pretty nice in the hand even with the case on here because of the fact that this phone is at a smaller size compared to the newer and larger phones. So taking a look at the back, we do have a nice flat back which is super nice so if you do place it down you won't be getting any rocking with this case which is good to know. And then also on the back we do have the case covering the camera lenses so the camera lenses should be fine in all circumstances even if you do drop it on its back. On the back we do have some very minimal branding it just says speaking right there and that's going to be on the kickstand which I will go ahead and show off at the end. And if we do take a look at the right side we also do get some branding here as well which it says tough armor for the name of the case. Taking a look at the front, let me go ahead and clear these notifications. We can see that the display is being covered up by a nice large lip that's going all across the display so if you do drop it on its face then again it should be fine in most scenarios. If we do take a look at the front again we can see a nice little speaker cut out for the front firing speaker and then we also do get a speaker cut out for the bottom firing speaker plus our USB-C charging port so we won't be losing out on any sound quality and we will still be able to use our charging port which is to be expected. If we do take a look at the top we can see a nice little microphone cut out so we're not going to be losing out on any sound quality in that matter as well. So moving on, I'd like to take a look at the button placement. So we do have the plus and minus for the volume rocker. And then we have this nice textured pattern on the power button. So let's say somebody's calling you, your phone's in your pocket, and then you don't even have to search for where the button is because you can already feel which one the power button is, which is super good to know. And if we do go out and test these buttons for the clickiness and the tactileness of them, let's go ahead and start off with the power button. So in three, two, one. So super clicky and easy to click, even with a case that is fairly thick compared to some other cases. And if we do move on to the volume rocker, again, super nice and clicky. Compared to the power button, I do have to apply just a tad bit more force, but it is not annoying. So it's still super nice feeling and the buttons are really easy to use. So last but not least, I would like to take a look at the kickstand, which is one of my favorite features with this case. It's a very simple kickstand. And it's worked so far with all of my cases, all my tough armor cases on previous devices, and I've had no issues with it breaking whatsoever. So I believe that will be the case for this one as well. And if we do take a look, very simple mechanism. It just clips onto here, 
All you gotta do is hear that click when you do close it and it will not be wobbling around, which is good to know. And if you do open it up, you can keep this in two positions, either in around a 90 degree angle. So let's say you're laying down somewhere and you do wanna watch something, you can go ahead and use this. Or if you do flip it around, you can get it in around a 30 degree angle, which is the one I use a lot. So let's say you're eating something on the table and you wanna watch something on your phone, or you just wanna watch something in general sitting down, then you can go ahead and use this mode for your kickstand. So a very nice and simple, but very useful kickstand, which is one of the, one of the reasons why I really do love this case. So other than that, wireless charging, all that stuff does work. We don't get any MagSafe compatibility. This is not one of the Max, MagFit series of, uh, of the speaking case brands. I wish they did include it as the Pixel 7a does come with wireless charging, but they did not do that. So one final thing is I'd like to take a look at the inside of this case and also the two part of this case. So this is a two part case. We do get the uh, plastic on the inside, the soft touch plastic, and then we also do get the hard plastic shell, which I will go ahead and show you right now once I am able to remove this case and voila. So here is our two part case. As you can see, the inner layer is covered with the soft plastic and then we do get that hard plastic up top. So very easy to remove. If you do want to remove it, I don't know why you would, but that was just to show you guys that we do have a two part case and you will definitely be getting all the protection you need from this case. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.